Hello and welcome to the course of HDL Digital Circuit Design. Today's topic is step by step guide to write a Verilog code for clock divider circuit using Dialing Vivado. In previous session we have seen what is clock divider, how to write a code in uh, Verilog for the clock division and what is the importance of it. Now we will be executing that in the Xilinx Vivado tool. Myself Shilpa Rudravar, Assistant Professor School of ENTC Engineering, MIT Academy of Engineering, R&D Pune. So, in previous session we have seen what is clock divider and uh, how to see the simulation and what is how to write a code and what is the concept behind writing the clock division in Verilog as well as the test bench we have seen. So, we are directly moving towards the tool. So, here first you need to click on Xilinx Vivado. Once you are doing that, you will be able to see this screen. So, click on create new project. Next can give the name clock d any name you can give select the directory click over here rtl project specify do not specify source if that is clicked that is okay if not that is also okay next depending upon whichever board you are having on the in the lab you can select that in which uh, in our lab we are having rtx7 board and that's why we are selecting that particular board because whenever you are dumping that on hardware definitely you required whatever code you are having with you so this is what is the board we are having and that has been selected here so you are able to see this is the process window this is the code window this is uh, this is the source window this is the code window and this is the error window at that at this time you are able to see the summary that is design summary project summary you can click over here if that is not available here and here you are able to see what uh, properties has been selected add source add design source because we are first writing the verilog code and then we are writing the uh, test bench so this one create file give name so whatever name you want to give you can give it and finish and whatever ports you require suppose i require clock i require reset so that way you can assign again clock underscore d anyhow i will be copy pasting the code to save the time so this way or in out if you want you can uh, write it over here and this moment i'll be writing output only but if you are giving this clock underscore d to the counter or any other circuit then you need to specify in out as i told you in the previous video so you can mention in out whatever it may be so once that has been done this clock clock related module is getting created now purposefully i have created this particular file previously only so i'll just copy pasting that particular part so i have copied that and i have pasted it over here now the name is different over here you can give any name so same thing clock underscore d is the name given inputs are clock and reset and in out is clock underscore d so you can mention in uh, uh, out also or you can mention in out at this moment if you are mentioning out that has not an any issue now this is reg which is the uh, dummy variable of a uh, scale down purpose we have taken which will be counting from 0, 0, 29 time to 1111 29 time so for the more details related to code uh, you can go through the video the link of that i'll be putting in the description box so once that has been done now everything is happening over here clock division is happening over here this is just a counting part but actually because of this particular line your clock is getting divided and depending upon the value you are writing higher value you are putting the clock is give, uh, getting divided by the higher value and that's why low frequency you'll be getting okay so if i want to divide clock by the higher value i want low frequency that is uh, 100 megahertz i need to convert into one hertz over there so i require this value to be higher okay so that is there once that has been done i have saved it there is no error i'm getting and that's why again add source and now simulation source now next i'll be writing test bench so here i will be giving name as a tl tb clk you can give any name and finished once that has been done okay you are able to see this particular tb that is test bench is getting created but it is not linked to this particular clock that is the uut you have written so i will be clicking over here again i have written already that code so 
main part related to code already i told you that you need to generate a clock as well as you need to generate a test uh, reset so here at start this is the range what are the inputs are there that is acting as the range over here what are the output that is acting as a wire and this is the instantiation that uh, uut that is the very log code you have written that is called as a uut that unit under test that you are linking with the test bench because test bench is the circuit which is generating the stimulus and that is applied to the uut and that's why you need to connect that with each other so that has been done and these are the two initial loop first for generating the clock and second for generating a reset so as per your requirement you can change the value so at this moment i am writing 40 if that value is more over here means reset will be more uh, one for more time as your circuit operates at a low reset means uh, your circuit counting uh, clock division will be happening when reset is zero that's why this you have given more time period once that has been done now save it so as this particular name whatever you have given so that is proper then it will get linked to that now in this case yes in this case it is linked properly because you have written this clk underscore d and this is the name to your uh, UUT and that's why it is linked properly and this is coming below to this. So this is the test bench we have written for this clock. Now click on the test bench and go for simulation, run simulation. So as taking more time, I'll be shifting to the my previous code I have written and that's why you're able to see. So here test bench is there and I'm clicking on run simulation. So you're able to see this simulation, I'll be relaunching. now arrange it properly so that you need to click on zoom fit once that has been done you are able to see this uh, clock that that is getting generated this is reset and this is the divided clock so at this particular time period when clock is there and reset is one your output is zero that clock is not getting divided but when reset is zero meaning of that it will be performing its normal operation of clock division and that's why for every clock pulse you need to check and that's why I'll be, I'll be zooming so I'll be able to see that clock division properly now over here when your reset is zero so this particular part you are able to see at this particular moment when reset is zero at this clock this is my first clock this is my second clock this is my third clock and this is my fourth clock but I'll be starting with this so that I'll be checking that this is the one clock cycle of your clock divided and for that how many clock cycles I need to give for the CLK that is main clock so this is my first clock this is my second clock this is my third clock and this is my fourth clock so four clock pulses or clock uh, cycles of my main clock I am getting one clock cycle so my clock is getting divided by four so if this is 100 megahertz I'll be getting 25 megahertz clock so again we'll be going ahead with the code and here I'll be changing instead of this one i'll be writing two uh, or zero so my clock previously is divided by four now it will be divided by somewhat lesser value so just again make the changes run for the simulation again update it so relaunch okay now previously it is four cycles i'll be getting one clock cycle of clock division now check if i have made it zero so what you are getting so again zoom fit now arrange it properly and zoom it so over here you are able to see at this moment reset is zero and for and for this particular clock cycles of main clock so this is my one one clock cycle of clock division and for that my clock main clock will be one clock cycle two clock cycle for two clock cycles of your main clock i am getting one clock cycle generated for clock division meaning of that my clock is getting divided by two so if value is less it will be dividing the clock by less value and that's why frequency will be somewhat higher but if the value of that uh, 
in in the square bracket will be more that way the clock division will be happening by the more factor and that's why slower frequency clock will be getting so in this way depending upon your requirement you can go ahead with this thing now again keep that in mind that it's very important whenever you are going ahead with the simulation try to give this clock value that is 0 1 2 3 whatever you are giving as less as possible because simulation is not an issue you can hold it you can pause that simulation and you can observe but in hardware whenever you are doing that time this value you need to increase because unnecessarily i am making four there is no meaning because i know that my clock is getting divided so you are writing four you are writing three not, not that doesn't matter over there and that's why i'll be showing because it will be taking more value and i'll be i need to zoom it so i'll be able to show you i have made it four now so my clock is getting divided after this much time so unnecessary in the simulation there is no need to see because i can anyhow zoom it i can anyhow hold it so that is not an issue so now you are able to see that for this many clock cycles over here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 8 that is 16 or more than that it might be you are getting one clock generated. It's not possible to see. So I'll be doing like this. So for this many clock cycles you are getting one clock generated. So that way in simulation don't make it very higher value. But in hardware definitely you need to go with the higher value in the this particular section. So hope this part is clear. So by changing this particular value inside this div underscore count, you can change your clock frequency. You can, if you want a higher uh, frequency clock, so this will be less. And if you want lower frequency clock, this will be higher. So thank you everyone. And thank you for uh, patience listening. So thank you and happy learning.